Um, 30s are bomb, but I, I'm still lost and confused. Days and confused, girl. I don't know what's going on. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It's another get ready with me. Now, for today's get ready with me, you know, we're gonna do what we always do a wig and a makeup look and a chat. But today we're gonna be doing two makeup looks, kinda, cause I changed my lips, girl, I don't know. I was all over the place, but that's neither here nor there because first we have to get into this wig. I wanna say thank you to Jessie's Wig for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig is a 613 Ombre Body Wave wig. It's 24 inches long and it is a four by four closure. Now, when I first received this wig, I noticed that this wig came with dark roots, but it seems as though the dark roots were dyed after it being applied to the wig. Because if you can't tell, the lace is a little bit grayer towards where the dye is. But first we need to flatten our hairline. I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Mousse to flatten the hairline. I think it's a tea tree mousse. I think that's what it's called. And I'm also gonna take my Dyson fly away flat iron to flatten that hairline and that thing does wonders next i'm going to take out some of those curls that we had in the wig because i just didn't really prefer those curls this is what the wig looks like when it pops out of the box so you may wash your wig i didn't i want to see what the wig was giving you can see that the dye job is a little bit splotchy towards the back you won't see that area but it is splotchy when i blow dried the hair i also decided to trim this the ends this is blonde hair so i already knew the ends was going to be giving very much frito lay and what i did was smooth them out a little bit they're a little bit more like butter. So I did a little trim and a little bit of a cut after blow drying the hair. And I used my Revlon One Step to blow dry this hair. Let me tell you something. It be working wonders. I love that Revlon One Step. But as I worked through, I decided to trim it to give it more layers. And it actually ended up working out and looking really pretty. And the hair started to come to life a little bit more. When... Before, when you see the hair, the ends look drier, but when you actually trim the hair, the it, the hair comes to life. Look at it. It looks more lively and full. So I decided to flatten the hairline using my Andis hot comb, and I just flattened it backwards, and I did the same thing to both sides just to make sure we get that hairline to get very much hairline, if you know what I mean. Um, after this, after we flatten the hairline, we also have to flatten the part area because it was a little bit hyped up in that area. But next we have to tint the lace. Now I did not have to tint this lace. I wish I left it alone, girl. I don't know how to leave well enough alone. I used the calendaric lace tint spray and then I blow dried it on a medium heat just to set in that color. I also made another mistake and tinted it on the other side. Like girl, what was I going through? I knew the lace was going to be dark but you'll see how dark it was once I put it on. So let's not worry about that till later. Let's go ahead and flatten the hairline. I'm gonna go ahead and use my uh, ZLA wax stick to really, really flatten the hairline and get those flyaways down and go back in with my hot comb. As you can see, this is what the wig is looking like. It looks so pretty, so lively. I like it better this way than without the curls. Now we can go ahead and pop on the wig. I'm gonna go ahead and use my wig grip my gex worldwide wig grip and get it from amazon and now i'm gonna pop on the wig you can start you can kind of tell what the lace is looking like but once i cut it that's when you really get to see it so i'm just gonna go ahead and chop off this lace and that's where you get to see that line of demarcation it looks like the dye that's on the hair is actually on the lace i definitely need it like a dye remover because for my skin tone it doesn't work but we're going to go ahead and apply the wig anyway, because <laughs> why not, girl? We are here. I'm going to use the Even Wonder Lace Bond and put that on the forehead. I wish I removed some of the lace tint that I added, but we were able to work it out a little bit later. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay down the lace. The lace actually melts down really well. And if this um, lace is a little bit closer to your skin tone because it's a little bit deeper it is on the grayer side because this is an ash blonde wig and this it seems as though the 
color is a little bit more ash. It may fit your skin tone a little bit better. It just was a little bit too deep for mine. Now for me, in order to conceal the ends of that closure, I had to create some baby hairs. So y'all know how I like to do, chop them down real short, okay? And then go ahead and brush them things down. Now, as you can see, they decided to use white, um, white thread. You can pop, you can see it. So you need to make sure you cover that up as well. Now, I also like to do faux baby hairs because I don't like walking out with a cliff, okay? Just a closure cliff at the side of my head. I don't like that. So what I like to do is brush out my baby hairs. Why am I making that face? Girl, fix it. Um, I'm going to use my, what is this? My or olive oil gel, and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down. I'm also going to use my Bobbi Brown uh, walnut skin stick foundation to kind of conceal that. I use the walnut skin stick foundation because it's orange first, and then I go in with my, what, what powder is this? Too Faced powder in chai, and I try and go over it. I think I should have used a different brush because this brush was not really working that well. As you can see, it wasn't doing this thing and a little bit of that orange is still peeking out, but that's what makeup's for, girl, <laughs> because it wasn't blendy, like it was supposed to have blendy. But as you can see, this is what the wig looks like after it's been trimmed. This is like more like, I think maybe 22 inches after the trim. Um, what I wanted to do next was do more face framing layers. So I just cut some into the hair just to make it look a little bit more bouncy. Next, I'm gonna use our famous cheese spinner girl i love her so much if i put you on let me know because this thing is everything i'm gonna use the cheese spinner curl on 410 degrees and on a 19 second hold to get these beautiful curls that you're gonna see coming up girl and the great thing about the cheese spinner curls is that girl you can just relax put your leg up and chill while you curl your hair you ain't got to worry about burning yourself nothing next i'm gonna go ahead and set the curls using my pantene air spray oh smells so good to me Love the smell of it. I'm gonna use Pantene Airspray Flexible Hold. I think it's the number three hold to get the curls to stay. I'm gonna spray it down on both sides, let the hair cool for a little bit. And once the hair cooled for maybe five minutes, I'm gonna separate the curls with my fingers. And as you can see, it came out, the curls came out so beautiful and fluffy, especially after the trim. This is what the hair looks like at the end before we do our makeup. If you're interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. You tell me what you think about this unit and let's go ahead and get into the face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. Jessie's wigs bought, gave me, oh, makeup brushes. Girl, I needed them because y'all know how to wash my makeup brushes. So are you supposed to clean these before you use them? What y'all do? Because I'm about to just use them. Baby, I'm about to run up these. I'm going to do a really simple face because like I said, it's late at night. Hey, what are we doing here? Nothing. I'm not gonna do a headband. Usually I do a headband, but this hair I think is gonna stay out of my face. So, ooh, I gotta get that. I got <laughs> bronzer up there. Okay, so I wanna see if this is my skin tone. I haven't even really checked it, but this is the Lancome Double Wear Sheer. Oh, babe, girl, this real light skin deep. This ain't me. <gasps> Y'all see that? Or can I use it as a concealer? Let me see. Hold on. It's a sheer long wear foundation in the color rich caramel. Now it looks more like a highlighter color. Let me see. Oh, that's real pretty. I'm just gonna put it under my eyes for now, maybe. Maybe if I mix the two colors I have. Y'all, I just jump right into it. I'm all over the place. It's gonna be chaotic. I'm so sorry. I've been doing a lot today. And I don't know what happens when I get really busy and I start doing a lot. I can't, girl, I'm like D -d 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 -d. So I have two of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Oh, these are like real watery. I got two of these. I have the Deep Amber and the Rich Caramel. Girl, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I just grabbed it and was like, oh, okay. This is my skin tone. I do it every time and usually I'm kind of correct, but this time I wasn't. So I'm gonna mix these two colors and see what happens. I'm really trying to find, I could have just got my skin tone. I don't know what's going on. I mean, actually, I feel like that's my face. Oh wait, baby. I done came up with something. Hold on, 
Hold on. Baby, that's my skin tone. What? It's a little bit cool, but we can fix that with a bronzer. How are y'all doing lately? You know, I like to do a check-in with y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all doing down below. Ooh, I feel like that foundation is cute. Let me pull in some. Maybe I could use a little bit more rich amber or something, but I like how the texture of my skin, like I like how that looks. I need to find my color because maybe this may be it. Okay, so for contour, I'm gonna go ahead and use, y'all can go ahead and say it with me. Ah! I'm gonna use the Walnut Skin um, Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation. I love using this stuff. Plus I used it right here to cover up this lace. And I need to, I need to use it again because there's a little line of demarcation over there. So I'm just gonna add some to the cheeks and up here. And then on the chin, boom. I'm, I'm liking how the skin is looking, what y'all think? But everything is great over here. You know how people tell you like when you turn 30 girl, when you, being in your 20s, it's completely different from being in your 30s girl cause you just, but no, um, 30s are bomb, but I, I'm still lost and confused. Days and confused, girl, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't know what is going on. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. Okay, so I'm blending the Bobbi Brown bronzer around my nose. Ooh, I'm loving how this is looking, don't you? I mean, I, I know you love it. You have to, because it looks fantastic. This lace is real deep and real dark. I probably should have did a full face of makeup, but I just don't, I don't quite feel like it. And this is what the lace look like, girl. I'm not gonna pretend they don't look like these, so. I think I'm gonna use this sponge. You already know I got the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna set. I wonder if I should use, I think I'm gonna use like a little bit of this lighter powder in the Boss Moose palette just to highlight and then I'm gonna set it because I don't have a lot of coverage. So this is the Boss Moves palette from the lip bar. It's in, the color is Cash and Checks, I think it is. Baby, I've been getting this mixed up. Yeah, cause I think the blush is called Grinding, but I got the sticker backwards. And I say it every time and I never learned my lesson, girl. So I'm just gonna put this on my highlight areas just to add coverage, but not like density on the skin you know what i'm saying there we go and then i'm gonna take a little brush i should use one of their brushes but i don't actually want to get them dirty <laughs> like what's going on with me if you haven't seen the vlog you get to see me and my husband put up a tree oh my god let me tell y'all something i don't know what it is i don't know if it's because i ain't got no office job no more but this christmas season feels Where's the brush at? Christmas season feels completely different to me. It just does. Like I didn't feel like, before I was like, um, Christmas, you know, I told you I was raised um, Muslim. Before I never really thought of Christmas like that. I actually enjoy it. I, I enjoy it. Maybe it's because of the kids or the baby, the babies. But something about children brings brightness to the season. And I'm enjoying seeing things in a new way, so. But Vlogmas is new, like doing Vlogmas with shorts, I don't know, like <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out, girl. I'll be making these shorts over here and I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna get under here. Did I do the nose? Okay, I'm gonna also set, I'm gonna set all over the face, forehead, I even set beside the nose. I just want to set the whole face. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm setting the whole face, eyebrows included. Um, this is the Dark Deep Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. Ooh, this is a big fluffy brush. I don't know if I'm supposed to be using this. Or whatever. Ooh, oh, that's warmed up the face a lot. Oh, I love this. This brush is luxurious. I'm gonna answer a few more of my Q and A questions because I asked the same day I was filming and I kinda wanna see what the other questions were. I wanna see, it was, girl, I asked it on this picture where I was giving body. 
Let me see if there's any questions. Newest first. Okay, so Lynn Dior asked. So my question is, let's get into this weight gain, girl. It looks amazing on you. Can you please elaborate more on how you did it? Oh, okay. So I didn't mean to gain weight. Okay. <laughs> Eating more, working out less, and I actually am loving my body now. I don't know if I felt that way um, before, but I love my body now. I love how it looks. I love how it's shaped. I, really, I ate more, worked out less. What are your diet and exercise routines? I need those Angela Bassett arms. Thanks and happy holidays to you and yours. Oh, thank you. I think I have naturally like toned arms. If you see my mom and my sister, um, we have more naturally toned arms. Now I do gain weight in my arms, but when I lose weight, I, I mean like my arms lose weight. As far as my workouts, I do a lot of leg glute and all that stuff because I used to be really, really tiny and I could not gain weight. And y'all know how it is when you tiny. I always wanted it. So now losing weight makes me anxious. Well, not as much anymore because girl, I've had weight on for a while and I know I can keep weight on, but before it used to make me really anxious. So now I still, I don't do as much cardio, but when I do, I'll like, I like to just keep my heart rate up I think I'll go ahead and insert a link to a couple of my workout videos. Cause I used to do workout videos, but I realized like, girl, I don't like doing it. I'll feel like I have to maintain a certain body type and I don't want to do that. So I will go ahead and link a couple of my fitness routines down below for weight gain and toning because I still do the same, the same things. The last question was Stacy Griffin. This one is Katina David. Would you consider starting your own small online store? Yes. My personality type needs to do a lot of research before I start anything. So um, I would, but I just don't know when or how or whatever. But I would start my own online store. Enter a name set. How did you meet your husband? I think I've said this before. Me and my husband met at a restaurant that we used to work at. Let me go ahead and do my eyebrows while I'm running my mouth because I need to be done with this. I got a whole video to edit. One day I passed by him and I saw him and I looked at him and I was like, oh, we both turned around, looked at each other. It was like one of those moments where I was walking one way, he was walking this way and I turned around and looked at him and you know, I'm, I was flirting baby and he looked at me and we looked at each other up and down and then you know, after that, he asked me out and that's how we met and started dating. And ever since our first date, we have been inseparable. Um, eyebrows are done. I put a little bit of blush on. Did I tell you what blush I used? If I didn't, I'm sorry. I used the blush grinding from the lip bar palette. So pretty. Do you save any of the synthetic wigs that you made videos on? If you did, which one is your favorite? I actually do save all of my wigs. So yes, which one is my favorite synthetic wig? Let me think back. It's the Sensational Amani. The Sensational Amani wig. That wig, top notch. Loved it so much. It started to get dry towards the ends because you know how syn syn synthetic wigs are, but that wig is everything. Y'all know I love a kinky straight or kinky sort of textured wig. Last name is Sakute. Answered, asked the synthetic wig question. Please answer this dying question. Which Yaki wig is your favorite? Which one would you recommend to us and why? A Yaki wig. Uh, I may have to answer this in the comments because I don't remember. I don't remember off the top of my head. I actually have to look through now though. So that was uh, SS that asked me that question. And advice for a psychology student in undergrad that doesn't want a career in psychology and has changed the major three times and graduates in a year and a half, want to be a senior art director, real RC stuff, girl. <sighs> I don't know if I'm the right person to give advice because I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and eyes and I'm not gonna explain. I'm just gonna leave all that stuff down below. It seems like, Natalie, it seems like you don't know what you want to do, which is fine and completely normal. I'm not sure how old you are, but you seem like a young baddie. And I, it's normal for you not to know what you're gonna do, what you want to do. <laughs> um, you said you don't want a career in psychology. So you say you want to do something artsy. Find a person that works in that career or find find where you can get an art see an art director or go to your school and see if you could 
figure out where you can find uh, someone that works in your in that field that you see yourself in and talk to them and see if you can create a relationship and see if that's what you really want to do if you have the time because there's no way you're gonna know what you wanna do until you start doing it. That's what I felt like. I had this really lofty idea of what a therapist was gonna be and once I actually got to it, I was like, oh baby, no. This is, I knew it was gonna be hard work. I just didn't know it was gonna be so mentally labor intensive and I just didn't feel like I was qualified. So one thing I wish that I did when I was younger was seek out people in that field from social work all the way up to psychologists and see what they did. Reach out to them to see if there was any mentorship programs to see if I could figure out like what exactly I wanted to do in that field. And if I did, I could like do little things with. See if you can reach out to somebody on LinkedIn and say, hey, I'm looking to go into this field. I'm not sure if you, I'm not, if you have an internship, great. Or what do you advise I do? A lot of people are more willing to help than you think, especially on LinkedIn where they have like those social media networks as well. So get on LinkedIn and look, look into those people and see if they can provide you with some guidance. And then maybe you can create some relationships in the future for what you wanna do. In the meantime, you're still in school. You don't know what you wanna do right now and that is okay. But while you don't know what you want to do, look into the things that you're interested in and have fun with it and see if, it, if it's something that you can do as a career. If so, reach out to people in that community and that group and see if they can provide you with some guidance. But look for people to help you. Natalie, I hope that was helpful. If y'all have any, um, any advice for Natalie, Please let, please help her out down below, girl. <laughs> Cause inquiry minds wanna know, girl. Mitzi Lornia asks, how, how learn you, how did you, I think, how did you learn to do your hairstyle? What's the mistakes you made in the beginning? So if you go back to my old videos, I would consider myself not good at wigs. I somehow had a channel. I don't know why y'all was watching me. Girl, cause I was bad. Now I feel like I'm a lot better. I feel more comfortable with wigs. Like I love wigs. The thing about wigs and anything, but mostly about wigs, cause we're talking about wigs. If you don't make mistakes, you won't know what works and what doesn't work. So I was open to making mistakes. That's how I learned. I was open to making mistakes in front of people. Girl, I would go out wigs looking a mess. Okay. But guess what, who cares? I'm learning my craft, okay? I would just plop a wig on and punch it, girl, and think I was cute, and I was. And did nobody tell me no different? I mean, they probably talked about me behind my back, but. <laughs> and what, what, do you, what else are you gonna say? Can you film a tutorial on bleaching knots? Heather Hill asked that, yes, I can. I just wonder if people are interested in that because I feel like there's so much content on bleaching knots. Like, do I really need to do it? But if I need to, girl, I'll do it. I love bleaching knots, girl, that's my favorite thing. But I'm great at bleaching knots. Not to toot my own horn, but toot toot beat beat. You know what I'm saying? I think it's the last one. Tawana Stringer asked, did you feel like Catwoman in this photo? And did, I really did feel like Catwoman. And where do you, where did you think you would be at 35? Or did you even have an idea of what life was supposed to be at 35? I love your content. You're very consistent and dedicated. Oh, thank you, Tawana. This is a good last question, so we can get up out of here. But where did I think I would be at 35? Definitely not married. Didn't think I would be married at 35. And I just thought I'd be rich. I thought I'd be a rich, but I never picture marriage. I said that before. I basically am where I thought I was gonna be. Not rich, but you know what I'm saying? Like a career woman. I am where I thought I was gonna be, except married. And I always thought I was gonna be a career woman. I just didn't know what I would do. I had no idea what I was going to do when I thought of myself at 35. Maybe I thought I was going to be a psychologist. Like once I started to get into, you know, school and stuff like that but I was so content with the idea of it and being single that I never even knew this curveball would happen and I'm so happy with this curveball because wow it's amazing he's an amazing man and I'm in love but I'm also I have I still get to prioritize my career and I'm able to have both be in love and live do life with my best friend like ugh, never thought this part I never thought but Spray in the face. Okay, next I need to just throw on some earrings and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. And then we gotta get up out of here, girl. I don't like this look. Dang it. I really don't like it. 
This is the finished look. I'm, you know, it's okay. You know what, this is cute. Why am I lying? This is real cute. Let me quit ragging. The hair is cute, the face is cute. It's kind of like more of like a sheer look. I'm not as, the lace ain't lacing. I probably should have did a thicker makeup, but love the color though on the hair. Very pretty. Y'all see? Ooh. It's giving very much skin-like. What do you think? Do you like it? Y'all tell me what you think about this whole look down below. Thank you for getting involved in the q and I was able to answer more questions from you all. So thank you so much for asking questions to me. Um, thank you again to Jesse's Wig for providing this wig to me and sponsoring the earlier portion of this video. Now we can go ahead and get up out of here, girl. This is the look. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Hey y'all, quickly before I end the video, I decided to change my lip color. I feel like I know what the issue is. It needs to be red. It needs to be red. I'm going red. I'm gonna use the lip bar lip color in Boss Lady, and I'm also gonna use Boy Trouble in the center of the lips. And if you know, baby. Okay, so we got the red in the center and then Boy, red on the outside and then boy trouble in the center this is like a bright orangey red i think i should have stayed with the paint but once you go red you can't go back so shout out to the chaos <laughs>